All right, so this is kind of like playing off my cancer question. What does sarcoid do to the lymph nodes? So when we talk about our lymph nodes, they're very, very important in the body. They help us fight infections. And a lot of our white blood cells goes to these lymph nodes. So sarcoid, which is gonna be a hyperinflection of all these immune cells like monocytes, like macrophages, and they form these granulomas everywhere in the body, but you could also get lymph node involvement, which is why when you have large lymph nodes, of course, cancer goes in the back of my mind, infections goes in my mind, but sarcoid loves to go there. And that's why if you're getting a workup and they're getting a CT scan or an X-ray, very commonly you will see enlarged lymph nodes on imaging and even on physical exam. When you see your doctor, he could be feeling for lymph nodes around the neck because it could involve it. Sarcoid loves to involve your immune system. Maybe not the most common thing, but it could even go to places like the bone marrow. It can go to places like the spleen. And all these things, including lymph nodes, helps you fight infection. And let me just go a little off topic and say that's the hardest part about having sarcoid is because having sarcoid can suppress your immune system. And you know what's even worse? When we treat you appropriately, with things like prednisone, which are steroids, things like methotrexate to help out, they further will weaken your immune system. And my patients with sarcoid are predisposed to infection. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You need these medications, but you're immunosuppressing our patients. So it's always gonna be about that balance and finding perfect quality of life for our patients.